Hey everybody, guess what? We're taking a road trip to Colorado. Join us on our adventure. Red River Town Hall. This is Red River. Yeah. Uh, Alpine. <laughs> the Riverside Lodge. Yeah, 15 minutes longer, but... There's Elephant Eat Lake. Oh yeah, Eagle Fest. <laughs> Northern Trail, as they say. Let's get off the bench and just 
for Trinidad. Okay, this is Trinidad, Colorado, and uh, look at all of these uh, dispensaries, recreational dispensaries, all up and down the street here. Kind of an interesting place. Actually, we wanted to camp out overnight. So it's eight dollars. And do you have a good suggestion for us where to go? Where's the best place? Uh, you have to have a registration to camp. So um, there's a map of all the campsites. You do have to have a park pass every night that you're here. So you you pay for that year, and then I'm going to send you to the visitor center that's on the north end, and they can take care of your reservations here. Okay, that sounds complicated. Sorry. No, that's okay. I understand. Uh, so, to get to the other visitor center on the other end of the lake, you keep going straight up the winding road. You're going to go straight for a little while. The sign's going to be on your left. It's going to say Northern Plains Campground. Take the left. Okay. okay. Northern Plains Campground. Go left. Go straight and then go left. And pay you now? Yes. Okay. And a day and it's good till noon tomorrow. There we go. Okay. It was a little complicated, but... Huh. <laughs> something up there on the left. Maybe that's the visitor center. I'm sure we could ask these people. That's got to be it right there. North Marina Road. Pay here. This one says Swim Beach is closed today. <laughs> Funny. Hi. Hi there. How are you? Good. We got a pass. This thing. Ow. Ah. This thing. Okay. But we were wanted to camp out tonight, and the lady that sold us this pass said we had to come find the visitor the center. North, uh, visitor center. I and see. Unfortunately, they're closed. The oh. only way to get camping tonight is the 1 800 number or online. After she already took our number? Our money. Oh, well, I can go online and do it. I, I know I can. If I can get a signal here, will I? Possibly. Okay, I'll <laughs> try to do that. Let me give you this. Because some people tell me that they have a problem with it. So Reserve America's phone number is right here if you can't get online. And then um, this has a map. Uh, and then as you flip through, there's a different map of the campsite. Perfect. I Thank apologize. You. Let me give you a piece of tape so you can stick that back. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good evening. You too. Yeah. We made it uh, up into the mountains near Florence, Colorado. Uh, this is our campsite. Nobody here except a police officer who came by. Out in the middle of BFE. Said he was looking for some crazy guy and did we see him? Uh... Florence Police Department, in spite of the fact that we're on National Forest land, which is a little unusual. But uh, anyway, we did see a couple people, so we told him. And uh, hopefully he's taking care of whatever needed to be taken care of. Anyway, yeah. We're going to camp out here tonight. Uh, let's see. We're in a really beautiful spot right here just on the edge of the National Forest boundary. It's 
Well, maybe, I don't know, half a mile in, something well, like that. Some standing water in there because the mosquitoes are bad. Yeah, there are mosquitoes here trying to eat us, but that's okay. We're, uh, we put on our thick clothing to keep them off. And uh, there's this mountain road that goes back up there another couple miles. And uh, up this canyon here. leaving our campsite better than we found it. There's the Colorado Springs Public Library. Penrose Public Library. We're in Colorado Springs. And near the downtown area. and Red Rock Drive. This is pretty prime looking real estate here for being close to Denver. Mm -hmm. About a half an hour south of Denver, 65 miles an hour. Houses are awesome. Built in up against these rocks. Backyard. Wow. Road. Number 38. County Road 38? Um, yeah. County Road 38. Jackson Creek Road. Definitely off the beaten path here. This is. Almost. Good way to get to the Lama Ranch here. And uh, now we're going to access the National Forest from this way. Get back up in there. <clears throat> a little known shortcut. Yeah, this is where we 
go right. Yeah, just keep following this and, and uh, in a little while it'll turn into 27. And, yeah, and this state of Texas. As soon as it hits the National Forest, I think it's when it turns Still climbing and we have not reached the National Forest yet. We're way up high. No hunt. Private property to the left and to the right. We had reached the pass, but we're still going up. Yeah, definitely not a time-saving shortcut. <laughs> <Maybe not. laughs> well, uh, but now well, maybe if we find a really nice campground up somewhere yeah, before we get to the bigger road, just come down from here. Like we should be able to find a good spot up here somewhere. Mm-hmm. The road ever stopped going up. Not <laughs> at all. It's totally tracking just fine. Does <laughs> Google Maps do that? We're still climbing and climbing. Well, we finally made it to the top of the pass, uh, and there is a campsite here, Campsite 59. We were thinking of camping here tonight, but because uh, it looks like a really nice campsite, but it's going to be cold up here. We're at the very top of the mountain, and it'll be really cold. So we're going to go down to lower climbs, and uh, find a warmer place that's still on National Park to camp out. Nice spot though. Campsite 59. Summertime? Yeah. August or something? When it's warmer. It'd be nice and cool up here. Campsite 59. Alright, now, your first priority when you're trying to survive in the woods is fire. So, as you can see, we've gathered some fuel here to start a fire, and Jason is getting the fire started right now. Time to get the fire started. It's absolutely essential <laughs> that you have fire right away. Next, we have to prepare a shelter. So that's the next thing we've got to do is get our tents erected. And there you have it. Instant shelter. <laughs> okay. So I'll leave the bed now. Hi there. It's me. We'll be heading into Denver in the morning. Just wanted to uh, show you my tent here. We're kind of cool. You can stand up in it, which makes it pretty comfortable. And it's very wormy and uh, getting ready to crash out for the night. So, it's bear country. Hopefully we won't have any bears visiting our camp at night, but I don't think we will. And, uh, all right, good night everyone. Sunrise. Well, I made it through the night. Got really cold last night. So uh, I got up as soon as I could, as soon as the sun started to peak over the horizon, and got the fire started, got the fire going again, and uh, it was so cold I decided to warm up the truck a little and get in it. The road down into Denver, 
Pike National Forest. Land of many uses. Huh? Remember the snow song in Former? Oh, yeah. I had to cover it. Oh. Driving all over Denver, or the cities around Denver, going to visit every single smoke shop. And it's not an easy task. We're on the road to Boulder. Look how beautiful that valley is. Oh my god. Look at all that traffic going back towards Denver. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are taking a left at this intersection. This one? Yes. <clears throat> yep. This one. Doesn't even say what 19 does. This road will take us out of Boulder up in the National Forest. Scout out our next campground. This is the reason for our visit. We are here for some rafting and saw some kayaking. <laughs> there is a 500 foot vertical drop in this canyon. <laughs> That's why they call it the Rocky Mountains, huh? Mm-hmm. Shitload of rock. Actually, a lot of the best granite that comes out of America comes out of Colorado. The black granite. Looking for a place to camp tonight, and uh, this is not going to be it. But it is a really nice spot. Water's moving pretty fast. We were looking for a spot to camp tonight, but this is Awesome. I think I just figured out why it's called Boulder. So we're looking for a campsite near Colorado Springs, heading into the sunset here, going west, and there's this huge, massive mountain in front of us with snow all over it. Hopefully the campground isn't up there. <laughs> anyway, I'll give you a better picture of it when the sun. And we found a very nice campground, in fact, in the National Forest, not too far from Colorado Springs, and we're pretty happy about it. Although it was rather pricey.
Well, we're in Colorado Springs. We decided to stop in Palmer Park and have a Sammy. So, this is Palmer Park. It's kind of a nice place. This is the uh, rest stop in Colorado City. It's a really nice rest stop with a beautiful view of the mountains here. <clears throat> There's a storm going on up there in the hills and it's generating a really nice cool breeze right here. Very nice here. Glad I stopped to stretch my legs. downtown motel in Trinidad, Colorado. It's uh, right on Main Street here, just a little ways from downtown. A few short blocks, a couple blocks away is the kind of downtown area right there. And this is the downtown motel. Great value. Got a room here for two for 50 bucks. Rooms aren't great, but Great bunch of people paid with cash. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend the downtown motel in Trinidad, Colorado. Beautiful place to wake up. Okay, this is Trinidad, Colorado, and uh, look at all of these uh, dispensaries, recreational dispensaries all up and down the street here. Kind of an interesting place. <laughs> so 